Tonight we have a part two of our special report focusing on debris flow risk here on the Central Coast. Our KION's Zach McIntyre tells us what Santa Cruz County is up against this winter and who could be most at risk. Heading into winter, it's not uncommon to see this. But for the Santa Cruz Mountains, it is uncommon for the rainy season to follow this. Deadly fires scorched the Santa Cruz Mountains this year, leaving burn scars like these all across the county. While the fires are gone, the chance for debris flows and mudslides are high. If they go outside and look up at a slope that's burned, guess what? You're at risk. Over 85,000 acres of land are left scarred from the fires, all of which could give out if enough rain falls on them in a short enough period of time. Probably the highest populated one is uh, Boulder Creek, that 236 corridor. Just because uh, the terrain is so steep there, the drainages are steep, it did have severe burn way up top along Empire Grade. Areas in dark blue are at the highest risk, and then there are areas in uh, highlighted in light blue that are also at risk. Now here's the thing about mudslides and debris flows. They move fast, and they can be far more dangerous than people give them credit for. If you can hear a debris flow coming, it's already too late. Back in 2017, three people died from the Thomas Fire in Southern California. Then the winter rains came the following year. And they were messaging and messaging three days in advance. People didn't leave and they ended up uh, having, I believe it was 23 people killed in the debris flows. So far more than the fire and they had three days worth of warning. Moving into winter, the National Weather Service is going to be a little more urgent with their flood alerts, making sure residents are prepared. Some of the areas up in the Santa Cruz Mountains may get a flash flood warning and might not see anything, but this is good. We want to be conservative, especially in the early part of the season, issuing flash flood warnings for debris flows. There's the possibility that this could happen quite a bit this winter, and people are gonna get tired of evacuating, we understand, and it's probably evacuation fatigue. Now there's nothing we can do to stop debris flows from happening. That's just mother nature, but we can control what we do leading up to our rainy season. Review your, your flood insurance. Uh, make sure you have an emergency kit with food and water, prescription medication. Now so far this year, we've just seen light rains across the central coast. That's good. It'll help heal the scars faster. But when the heavier rain does approach the central coast this winter, make sure to pay attention to the alerts and know your risk. For KIO News, I'm Zach McIntyre.